No one is going to stop you from doing Inktober on your iPad. Just know that you're missing out on the full experience of Inktober. Hmm. This is an opinion video, so everything I'm about to say is just correct. Greetings, parasocial parish. Rejoice, for today, Father is blessing you with Inktober controversy. Yes, hello? They're arguing about a drawing challenge on the internet. Oh, I see. That was the chief, and apparently this ain't it. What even is this debate? Well, there are all sorts of arguments floating around, but the main controversy I'm addressing began with a tweet from the official Inktober Twitter account written by the creator of Inktober, the man himself, the main motivator, Jake Parker. This was tweeted before 2017's Inktober, but there are still people arguing about this in current year. Regarding the question, can I draw digitally for Inktober, the spirit of Inktober is self-improvement and there's no better way to master your craft than to draw without a safety net. Working digitally usually means using Control z a bunch so you get your line just right, and that can enable someone to develop bad drawing habits. There's no feeling like making a permanent line and knowing you can't change it without consequence. I think that's how you improve and get better, because every ink line that's put down on your paper forces you to think, commit, and adapt. No one is going to stop you from doing Inktober on your iPad. Just know that you're missing out on the full experience of Inktober. Hmm, but it's his challenge, rules are rules, and he wasn't wrong about this. See, there's a larger issue with this entire situation. What is the full experience of Inktober? I had to get to the bottom of it. So I've been thinking a lot about Jake Parker's words. I mean, he's just such a positive example for all artists. He created Inktober after all. And even if his 2017 tweet was a little extremely poorly worded, surely he has our best interests at heart. I decided that I wouldn't find the full experience of Inktober sitting behind a computer screen. So I said goodbye to Photoshop, I said goodbye to my tablet, and I embarked on a pilgrimage to discover the full experience of Inktober. Like, an actual pilgrimage. Okay, so this is taking kind of a long time. Generally, when you go on a pilgrimage, you're going to somewhere, but I actually have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going, so I'm just gonna continue walking in a straight line and statistically, I'm bound to wind up somewhere. Okay, so pilgrimage update. I actually found something and it's a sign. It appears to be a Twitter response to the Inktober tweet and it says, this was written as if white ink doesn't exist. Hmm. Oh, and here's another one. This one says, so you can use pencils, you can use white ink, you can use erasers, but sure, it's about the permanence of ink. Uh-huh. Both of these bring up a pretty good point. See, I thought the full experience of Inktober involved not having a safety net, but as it turns out, there's plenty of safety nets in traditional artwork. In fact, erasing and redrawing sketches repeatedly before inking can actually lead to some pretty bad drawing habits as well. You know, things are getting more complicated. I think we're just gonna have to go further into this pilgrimage to find the truth. Oh my goodness, I really wanna go home. Our pilgrimage is always supposed to be this hard. Oh, hold on, what's this? Okay, so we have another sign and it says, um, maybe there's a way to say it's a traditional theme challenge and traditional mediums are encouraged without also saying digital art is too easy and makes you a bad artist. Okay, and this one says, 
I understand the intent, but the dismissive attitude taken towards digital artists is fairly souring. You know, that's a good point too. Parker did write the statement as if digital art is everyone's comfort zone, but there's a lot of people who actually consider traditional art to be very easy for them compared to digital. There's just something fishy about all of this and I have to get to the bottom of it. All right, so what is this? Uh, this says, funny you say this and yet, wait. This is Jake Parker using digital. This is Jake Parker using digital for Inktop. Oh no, he's just drawing the mascot, okay. <laughs> Wait, he's drawing the mascot for his traditional art challenge with digital. That does, okay. And what's this? Can it be digital or does it have to be paper on ink or paper with ink? I'm doing both. Jake Parker, September 29th, 2018. I'm doing both. Hold on a second. What happened to the spirit of self-improvement? What happened between the full experience tweet and I'm doing both? What could be strong enough to change someone's opinion so completely on something that they believe so strongly in? If I had to guess, I would say money, but I'm gonna need some hard evidence before I jump to that conclusion. Sorry, my script writing gets kind of meta when we get towards the end of my videos. Wait, I wasn't supposed to say that in this scene, was I? Sorry, my script writing gets kind of meta towards the end of my videos. And I found the mother load. Three signs all together. Let's see, this one says, wait a second and Here we see that Inktober partnered with Autodesk Sketchbook, a digital drawing app software. And they, why would Inktober, par hold on, what's this? LOL, so it's only okay if it's <coughs> endorsed. Autodesk Sketchbook, right? And this one says, serious question. What does your sponsor at Sketchbook app have to say about this post? They even push digital inks on your website. So it was money. And then in 2018, he partnered with another digital software company, Adobe. And he didn't disclose that information on the official Inktober website. Hmm. The only place I could find it was on Adobe's blog and in a retweet on the Inktober Twitter account. And the Adobe partnership is literally a contest in which you can win Jake Parker's art book and an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. And, and here's my absolute favorite part from Adobe's blog on the Inktober topic. If you're drawing on an iPad, give our mobile drawing apps a try. Adobe Sketch, Draw, and Capture CC. But I thought if you did Inktober on an iPad, the very last sign I found pretty much sums everything up. Robert Bearclaw says, doing Inktober digitally is missing out on the full experience of Inktober. Now you're basically promoting doing Inktober digitally and with prizes as well. That's a bit too much hypocrisy and commercialism for me, mate. So I bow out. Good luck to everyone. You know, maybe this guy should have written the script. He basically just summed up my entire video in less than 50 words. But yeah, it's almost as if Inktober has become like any other mainstream digital event in which the participants are secondary and the sponsorship money is the main focus. <sighs> you know, this was kind of a depressing pilgrimage. I'm gonna take an Uber home. So yes, participate in Inktober, do it the way you want, have fun, and most importantly, profit. That's what Jake Parker did, and honestly, that's what I would do too. I'm still not participating though because I'm way too disorganized to commit to that. Now, while I have indeed given the final word on this argument, you have my permission to have your own opinion and share it as well. Just be sure to keep it civil, at least a little. Anyway, looks like I've gotten 10 minutes of content out of this, so 
Leave a like, tell me what you think, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and a big thank you to my 28,800 subscribers. Okay, bye.